Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Tony's Temple. I'm your host, Tony. All right, so today's topic, we're going to talk about the Little Mermaid, right? So, so but, but just, just to give context, let, let me show you what Whoopi Goldberg has to say about the Little Mermaid trailer that, that just came out. So let's watch this first, and, and then, and then we'll, we'll go to my little review. You're going to lose your minds when you see the new Ariel. Yes! Because you know... And I don't want to upset any mermaids who are watching the show. Um, yes. You know, because I know there are many communities of mermaids of various colors. And when I say of various colors, I'm not playing. Yes. There are violet mermaids. There are yeah. pink mermaids. There are black mermaids. There are Latina mermaids. There are mermaids of every ilk. And you know why there can be? Because it's the world that we would like to see better. Yeah. Yeah. We would like to fantasy. see as many people represented fantasy. in yeah. fantasy as exist. So all of y'all who have problems because there are black hobbits, get a job. Yeah. <laughs> get a job. Go fantasy. find yourself because you are focused on the wrong and stuff. Watch us. <laughs> Guys, so that, that, that's the opinion of Whoopi Goldberg. So she... He's saying that if you think you have a problem with black hobbits and black mermaids, you should get a job, right? So, which is kind of ironic because this is coming from the same lady that said that the Holocaust has nothing to do with race. Like, really? Really? But, you know what? Just, just so we're, we're all on the same page, let, let me show you the trailer itself. Well, there you have it, guys. That, that, that's the trailer, you know? So when you when I first saw it, like, the animation was pretty dope. The music was super nostalgic, right? And it, everything about it seemed to be great. And when I saw that The Little Mermaid was black, I, I didn't really have any trouble with it at first. But the problem is, when you sit down and actually start thinking about it, this actually is a lot stupider than, <laughs> than you initially thought. All right, so if you guys don't know about this, The Little Mermaid is actually a <laughs> Danish folklore, right? And you don't know about Danish people. They're primarily white. Right, so they're they're using a character to represent like their culture and and their background and their their history, right? And and and, and who they are. So them making the Little Mermaid white makes sense. So if Danish people are making stories about like you know mermaid and then like the character was like Chinese or something like that, like that, that doesn't really make any sense, right? And my issue with, with this trailer is not the fact uh, it's not because the Little Mermaid is black, right? My issue is the fact that she's black due to wokeness and, and and that's really the only reason right so what, what what why can't disney just come up with a new character you know that's black and tell like an interesting story why why are why is this generation always about gender swapping or race swapping you know can you imagine the story of mulan was rewritten by disney and then like they came up with a movie and then like everybody in there was like black or white you know, and okay, let, let's not even stop there. What, what about Black Panther? You know, let, let, let's make Black Panther white due to the sake of diversity to show how diverse everything is. Why, why even stop there? Let's, let's make the Black Panther a transgender, transracial, trans species, you know, handicapped just, just for the sake of like diversity. You know, like, like their, their race and all that, none of that matter. The only thing that matter is to show how woke we are, you know, and how diverse like all of our character is. Man, it, and it's fucking sad, you know. And, and I'm passionate about this because, like, when when I saw this, I was having like memory back of when I was when I was younger. And I, I'm I'm primarily American, but uh, you know I'm 
I'm Vietnamese. My parents are Vietnamese, you know, so I have Vietnamese root. And the thing is, I never really got into my Vietnamese root up until like a couple of years ago. So when, when I started digging into my Vietnamese root, the one thing I wanted to do was to like, you know, listen to more Vietnamese music, more modern Vietnamese music, right? But what happened was like when I was looking for music, I just ended up finding like Vietnamese people, they... They, they still have their old cultural way, which, which is fine. But the problem is, like, they need to catch up with the time. And if you know anything about me, Vietnamese music, they're all, like, sappy, sad. They're all, like, oh, you know, I'm missing my mother. Or, you know, I love my girlfriend. It's, it's, it's all sappy shit, right? And when I was looking for more modern stuff, all the modern shit that they have, it's, like, a remix of, like, American songs. Like, they're, they're like, remix of, like, Amer- of, like, Linkin Park, you know, with, like, Vietnamese, like, lyrics and shit. No, just 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 take all these American songs and just like replace all the lyrics with it with Vietnamese, and and this is sad because like you know when I want to when I want to listen to Vietnamese music, I want to listen for the the cultural of, of like Vietnamese music. Like how or what what is Vietnamese, Vietnamese music? You know, is it just like a bunch of remix of like American music? You know, like why why where's the originality and. And I don't know if I'm right to say this, but there's this guy named Sun MTP. He's like a Vietnamese pop star. He he pretty much modernized Vietnamese music, and and you know it came with a lot of originality, and like it shows like the root. And you know I I would suggest you guys check check him out. Sun MTP. He even had a music video with Snoop Dogg. But the the, the point is, you know when when I saw the mo- the the Little Mermaid, it it triggered it triggered that part of me. You know like what why why can't why aren't there any original like black mermaid and the thing is i know that there are original black mermaids so so why don't disney make movies out of that you know why why don't they just preserve like what was made with the little mermaid and then like you know keep it as it is why did they have the race swap why did why you know like for the sake of diversity why why is she black why isn't she asian why isn't she you know latino like it's like this whole woke idea of making diversity like it, it, it just doesn't stop you know like if if they're gonna bitch and complain about like the mermaid being black, why can't I bitch and complain about the little mermaid, mermaid being like you know Vietnamese or Chinese or Japanese or whatever? And the thing is, I'm not even like the minority of the opinion. If you look into the trailer right now, there's a heavy amount of dislike. Like I mean, a heavy amount of dislike. And and the thing is, I don't think these people are disliking it because they're racist. They're, I don't think people are disliking it because you know the little mermaid was black. I think people are disliking it because they're 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 sick and tired of this woke culture of like. Doing everything for diversity, and and the sad part is, this is actually affecting the actors and the, and the actresses that that's involved in these kind of movies. Uh, the the main character, uh, you know, that's played the Little Mermaid. She was she supposedly claimed that she was harassed, uh, you know, due to racism and all that stuff, which which sucks. And and like I, I I don't wish that upon her or anybody. And it's not her fault. The the problem is, is Disney. They're 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 too woke. They're trying to like change all this stuff, and then like sometimes it affects some of the people that, that are in these movies that they're making, and, and like it shouldn't be this way. And you know to go back to what I was saying about the the whole my Vietnamese experience, like you know when I went back, I was trying, I was looking for my roots, right? So and, and and imagine if you're a Danish person, right, and you learned that Little Mermaid was, you know, made from Danish roots. And then when you watch the Little Mermaid, and then like you're seeing like the like these people just twisting and turning what was an original character to like something for the sake of wokeness, and and then like you know I would be pissed off at like the people that made these products too. And and the problem is there are people are tor- uh, targeting the their anger towards the actor, which they shouldn't be. They should be angry at Disney, you know? Like what the fuck are you doing, Disney? I don't know, man. I- I'm just so sick and tired of woke culture, man. And and I I hate talking about it, but. I don't know. It just has to be said. I that's that's all I gotta say, man. Like, dude, we we need to stop with this whole gender swapping, race swapping, and whatever, man, dude. This this shit's fucking whack, man. We people need to come up with more original story, and and the fact that they are re- remaking the Little Mermaid and making the character black, kind of saying like, hey, we don't have any original black characters, so we're just gonna you know take an original story and make that person black, and then like that's that's it. You know, like I want to see more original like black folklore or black you know movies and stuff you know and and blade was cool like for example like he he wasn't cool because he's black he just happened to be black that and then like that was fucking super dope right and like there are there are black characters and there are black stories out there that are super dope and then like well, what if let's just change blade and just turn him white you know like i don't know man this this is this is just pissing me off and to like no end but you know, I, I'm, I'm gonna keep my rant short. That, that's all I have to say. I just want to get that off my chest. Just like I'm tired of it. I'm, I'm tired of this wokeness shit. And 
yeah, that's it. All right, guys. Y'all have a good night. Peace.